Welcome everyone to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to remove all viruses, malware, adware, and spyware from a Windows PC. I am doing this here in Windows 11, but this will still work for Windows 10, Windows 8, and even Windows 7 users. We will be doing a full deep clean, which will help optimize the computer and make sure it's running at its peak efficiency. To get started with step one, go down to the notes below, down in the video description, and underneath step one, click on the link there. It will take you to this page, which is for a free anti-malware program. Go ahead and click on the free download. It should download automatically, but if it does not, click on the click here option. And then once you have the download, go ahead and double click on it to open it up and run the installer. Click install, select me or family and click on next. We do not want to install the extension, so we're going to click on skip. Click done. We're going to close this pop-up. Come here and click on the settings icon. Click on account and then click on deactivate premium trial. We only want to run the free version. Click deactivate. Click yes and then click on security, scroll down just a little bit. We're going to turn off on startup, scan for rootkits, turn on, and then click on the X to close the settings. Click on scan. It's going to first check for updates and then scan the computer. Let it sit and run until it's fully completed. If it finds any results, it will list them and give you the option to quarantine them. If it prompts you to restart, go ahead and restart the computer. Or you can wait until the very end. We will do a final restart at the very end of these steps. For step two, we're going to go through and do a startup audit to make sure we don't have any junk or garbage running in the background. So to get started, come down here and click on the search. Search for task manager. Go ahead and click on it to open it up. Click on the startup tab and you'll notice here it gives a list of everything that turns on and starts when you first log into your computer. Right now everything is enabled and so what you want to do is go through and disable as much here as possible. To do so you just click on an item and then click on disable. And you can see I have now gone through and disabled everything I don't need. I have left a couple things enabled. I do recommend that if there's anything that has to do with your security or an automated online backup or anything that you absolutely need you can leave enabled. But everything else go ahead and disable. For step three, we need to go through and remove all the garbage and junk programs. To do this, come down to the search, type in control panel and open it up. Click on programs, programs and features. This is a list of everything on your computer. You need to go through each individual item and remove as much of the garbage and junk off of here as you can. Keep in mind, if you've had a problem with pop-ups, performance, malware, viruses, most likely you installed something bad and so it's probably on this list. To remove an item, you just click on it. It will give you an uninstall option you can click on. Keep an eye out for anything that says toolbar or cleaners or optimization programs. If you have two antivirus programs, remove one of them. That does not help. It just makes things worse. Just really, really, really do a good job on this step. Make sure to scrub this list. If you're not sure if there's something here you should remove or not, you can Google it or go to this website, shouldiremoveit.com, search it. If it has a yellow, orange, or red rating, you can go ahead and know for sure you can remove it. I would also recommend removing malware bytes again because we're trying to clean out the computer, not add to the clutter. So go ahead and remove it once you're done using it. For step four, we're going to clean out the storage. And to do that, come back down to the search, type in storage and go ahead and open up storage settings. This will let us know how much of our storage is in use. Please keep in mind that the more storage that is in use, the slower your drive will run. And so if your computer's running slow, it can help if the drive is already approaching its max capacity to go ahead and remove some of the garbage. And so right here, we can get a breakdown of what's taking up space on our drive. And so it, for example, if we had a lot of videos, we could click on this and go through and delete all the videos we no longer need or move them off to a secondary or backup drive. If I click on back, we can turn on storage sense, which will automatically free up space when it can by deleting temporary files. We can turn it on and then click the arrow to manage these settings. Basically, I just recommend that you go through and clean up as much of the garbage here as you possibly can. Step five will have three parts. We're going to go through and clean out all of the web browsers. And so we're going to start with Google Chrome. So to get started, go ahead and open it up and click on the menu in the top right corner. Go down to help and over to about Google Chrome. This will just confirm that it is up to date. Next, click on the menu again. Go down to more tools and over to extensions. Flip on the developer mode and then click on the update option. Extensions are fun and convenient, but they are terrible for privacy and security. And I strongly recommend you remove as many as possible. To remove an extension, you just click on the big remove button and then remove. If you see something that says toolbar, I strongly recommend you remove it. So we're going to go ahead and do so. 
I would make an exception for the password manager. You can disable it while it's not in use by toggling off the switch. And if there's any other extensions you are not willing to part ways with, at least disable it while it's not in use. Next, let's click on the menu button and go down to settings. On the left hand column, click on the search engine and just make sure that it is correct. You can click on the drop down to change it. If there is a search engine you need to remove, click on this option and then scroll down and you can just click on the menu and click on delete and then delete again. Come to the left hand column and click on on startup. Make sure that everything here looks correct, especially this bottom option right here. You can type in a specific web page you want to open up when you first open up Chrome. I am going to put in DuckDuckGo, but you can go ahead and type in whichever website you want and then click on add. Just make sure that if there are any here that you do not want, you just click on the menu and then click on remove. Next, we will come up to the top and search for home and we're going to flip on the home button. And I do recommend you double check this bottom input just to make sure that it is correct. And just make sure to type in the URL of the specific web page you want to use for your home page. The last thing for Chrome is we're going to come up here to the top and type in history. And then we're going to click on the clear browsing data option. We're going to click on advance. If you've had a problem with malware or viruses, there's a good chance you went to a malicious website. And so I do recommend clearing this out. Just make sure you only check only the top four boxes and change it to all time. And then go ahead and click on clear data. Now we are in Firefox and I'm going to click on the menu in the top right, go down to help and then click on about Firefox. This will just ensure we are up to date. Once you've confirmed you are up to date, go ahead and click on the menu in the top right, go down to add-ons and themes, select extensions on the left-hand column, and then click on this little gear icon, and then click on check for updates. Same thing here, we want to remove as many extensions as possible, and so I'm going to click on the menu option, and then click on remove, and then remove. If you see anything that says toolbar, I strongly recommend removing it. And we're going to keep our password manager, but disable it while it's not in use. Click the menu in the top right and then go down to settings click on home in the left hand column right here just double check your home page and new windows just to make sure that they are correct if you want a custom url just go ahead and paste it right in there you can also double check to make sure that new tabs are correct as well next click on search right here you can double check your search engine to make sure that it is correct you can remove a search engine by scrolling down selecting it and clicking remove next click on privacy and security and then scroll down to where it says history and then click on the clear history button check just the top five boxes and change it to everything and then go ahead and click on ok the last browser for step five is microsoft edge with it open click on the menu in the top right go all the way down to help and feedback and then click on about microsoft edge this will confirm that you are up to date again click on the menu in the top right go down to extensions click on manage extensions from here turn on the developer mode click on the update option as already mentioned, remove as many extensions as possible. To remove, you just click on the remove option, remove. Any extensions you are keeping, just disable while they are not in use by toggling off this switch. Go back to the menu in the top right, go down to settings, come to the left hand column and click on privacy search and services. Scroll down just a little bit until you see clear browsing data. Go ahead and click on choose what to clear. Make sure you check only the top four boxes, do not check anything else, and then change it to all time and click on clear now. Scroll down all the way to the bottom to where you see address bar and search and click on it. Here you can change your search engine if needed and manage your search engines here. It does give you the option to remove if needed. In the left hand column, click on start home and new tabs. Just make sure everything here is correct and has not been changed. You can double check the URLs for any pages. You can click on add a new one if you need to do so and type in the URL here. I'm going to add DuckDuckGo and click on add. And then right here we can flip on our home button and double check that our home page is correct as well. And then click on save. For step six, we need to run an antivirus program. And so what you need to do is locate the antivirus program you're using. It will usually run down here in the system tray go ahead and open it up and then you need to locate the scan option here in windows security we can click on the virus and threat protection and then go to scan options and then you'll want to look for a full scan option and then go ahead and run the scan all antivirus programs do have a full scan option so make sure again that you click the full scan option not a quick scan if you're looking for a second opinion virus scan i will list a bunch of free antivirus programs you can install on your computer they're down in the notes underneath step six please remember never ever install more than one antivirus at the same time let your scan run until it's fully completed and remove any results if any are found for step seven we're going to run a defrag and to do this come down here to the 
taskbar and look for the little folder icon and click on it. Click on this PC in the left-hand column, locate your C drive and right-click, go to Properties, click on Tools, and then Optimize. Right here underneath Media Type, if it says Solid State Drive, you want to disable and turn off the defrag, and so you'll just want to make sure that if it does say Turn On, there will be a Turn Off option right here you can click on, and then you'll just want to make sure to uncheck the box and click OK. However, if it is a hard disk drive, you'll want to click on Turn On, check the box. I would recommend just running monthly, and then click on OK. For Step 8, we need to restart the computer, so come down here and click on the Windows Start menu, click on the power icon, and then click on Restart. Once you've restarted the computer, you should be done. However, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.